Tuesday morning. Um, I'm about to get a few things from Walmart. I need to get some deodorants, some body wash. I don't know, just a couple household stuff. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm tired, y'all. Tired as hell. Just did 12 hours as usual. Got my little workout gear on. I went to the gym. Y'all, this um bra is called She Fit. Like, if you're heavy chested like I am, sis, get you this bra. It's like almost $60, I think, but it's well worth it. Like, it got the um straps right here, the adjustable straps. So you're able to pull it as high as you need to. And my problem area always been down at the bottom. And it's like a little strap where you can pull across and adjust so your boobies don't be falling out the bottle. That's always been my problem. Could never find a sports bra that didn't fit all the way in like the sides, you know, the whole size fit in. I just love it. But like if you wear clothes and stuff, like if you try to wear like like i would want to wear it like to work because it'd probably be a little bit more comfortable than wearing a regular bra because you know you're doing a lot of bending and all that kind of stuff but the it's not that comfortable if you wear it for like too long on the shoulders part because i'm just so heavy chested oh i just wish i can get a breast reduction lord if this if this channel grow like i think it will one day i'm gonna get that breast reduction i mean really to tell you the truth is medical because I was going to um physical therapy or whatever. I was getting therapy therapy for like two weeks and they was giving me like shots in my shoulders. When I tell you painful, like I'm not even that kind of person about shots. Like I'm, you know, just take the shot and go on. But baby, them shots ain't no joke. Like that should be burning. It just hurts so bad. And then doing the physical therapy, you just be super, super sore. And like I'd be having to lay on the heating pad. Like I just needed a break. I'd probably go back, but for right now, I'm taking a break. So yeah, um, I mean, you know, if you build up a report or whatever and you know your insurance will see that it's a problem with your back because of, you know, your boobs being heavy or whatever, then they'll pay for it. Because without that, um a breast reduction is like five, six grand. I'm like, baby, I'm not trying to enhance, I'm trying to reduce. But I also want a little lift too. But it's just like, dang, six grand for a reduction. So that's crazy. But anywho, yeah, I'm about to go in Walmart, get a few things, and head home, take my shower. I might make me some tea and a little omelet. I don't think I'm putting no meat in there, probably just vegetables. But um, yeah, let me, I'm just rambling, y'all. The next day. left this little cigar place um with my dad um he on vacation or whatever he normally take vacation like the week of christmas but i guess he decided to take it early so we went to this little cigar place and y'all i'm not normally out in the daytime like i'm a vampire okay i be in the house but um i don't know today i had a taste for some um snow crab and it's like four, what is it, 441 right now? And I haven't ate nothing all day. So like I'm starving. And I should have ate before I smoked because that could really make you sick. So I pray that I don't get sick. But I'm at this little crab place. I placed my order by the phone. So I'm just chilling out and waiting till my order ready. And I'm gonna take that home and chow down. My daughter, she don't be liking crab legs. She want McDonald's. Kids, so I'm just waiting 
to my food. Come. Oh, I got my crabs. So it was about to go down at home. Two days later. this morning I'm just gonna sit here and stretch do a little prayer a little morning meditation and be out with nature sometimes it's good to have your little alone time outside and, you know just to think and reflect on different things you gotta make that time for you even if it's just at the park <clears throat> Just always gotta make that time for you. But yeah, um Yeah, I need to be more um consistent on my blogging. I guess cause I'm just so let me take these things on my head. I guess cause I'm just so used to, you know, being my normal self and just doing everyday routines and not used to holding a camera in my face. And I'd be like, dang, I should have vlogged that. But I'm going to try to do better, y'all. I really am. But I see um some of the views went up. One of my um videos, the one with the teepee, it's like over a thousand views. I was like, okay. Now, if we can get my other videos up to those views, that would be great. Like, um, I'll be posting on my Facebook timeline. I'm going to put a picture somewhere. So y'all can see, like, just on my timeline, my views, I be getting 500 views, 600 views. I'm like, if y'all can bring that support to my YouTube channel and get them same kind of views, all I was doing was driving in my car and just filming. That was it. I'm like, dang, what, what is y'all trying to see? But if I get them views, my YouTube will be popping. Oh, yeah, and another thing, speaking of views, do YouTube be stealing views? I'm put pictures right here, too, of my channel. Like, one of my um videos, um my uh, makeup video, the um, date night video, it had, like, 300-something views. Now it's, like, two-something. Then my vlog had, like, 300-something views. Now it's, like, two-something. I'm like, what's up with that? Do YouTube be stealing views? Like, can somebody answer me that? So I don't know what's up with that. But y'all, I'm getting ready to put this waist trainer on and probably go for a little jog. Got my um, what waist waist trainer? I'm getting ready to put that on. I don't wear it daily like I should, but I normally do it like when I work out and stuff. I put it on. Child, I'm getting rid of this little boob. It's so hard to put on. You gotta literally squeeze yourself into it. Hold on, it's getting a little easier. Let me find out my waist getting small. Then they got these little two straps. You can pull it as tight as you want. It's the back. So that's it. So I'm getting ready to go ahead and take me a little jog and then I'm run because I already know I ain't gonna run all the way. So yeah, let's get it. Got 
all kind of little parts. Oh, they got like the little bridge up there. You can walk up there. Okay, okay. About the shower, you already know I took about an hour. Jumped out fresh, jumped out clean. <laughs> Your girl is fresh right now, so I'm getting ready to make me an omelet, probably a vegetable omelet with a little bit of cheese. So yeah, stay tuned for that. The next day. Good morning, y'all. I just got in the car. I'm trying to warm up. Man, it's cold. Because it's been raining. And you know, after that rain, it just brings in the cold, honey. Mm, so I'm getting ready to go home. No, actually, I got a lot of stuff to do this morning before I go home. But y'all, work just been like crazy this weekend. I guess not crazy. It's been like. Um, well, y'all know that I work in healthcare, or whatever, and um, all I'm gonna say is, your health is your wealth. As long as you got your health and your strength, like it's nothing in this world that you missing or you shouldn't be grateful for. But it's just, I mean, doing the work or whatever, I be complaining because I be tired and it be overwhelming sometimes, like especially if we shorthanded or whatever. But the reward of it um uh, like one of my patients um last night i came in the room you know i just do my regular job you know i do my blood pressures and you know if they need assistance going to the bathroom or you know i just do whatever my normal um routine i'm supposed to do every day but you know every now and then i do chit chat with them but sometimes you be like in a rush because you have to go to the next patient and just be overwhelming sometimes but i guess you know just one of the patients um has been there for a while like probably like a month and they usually don't stay longer than a couple of days or maybe a week so you know over the time you know they get to know you or whatever and he just told me he was like um i just love when you um come to work every day you just have such positive energy and um i feel like i created a bond with you i was just like <laughs> about to make me emotional but you know especially at times like this because you know some people not able to have a family member with them but he did though he have um his wife and him you know some of the patients with certain conditions they are able to have um a visitor there but just the fact that he you know love whenever i come to work and see him and speak to him and you know they are humans too and you know some people you know, doctors and nurses, they just hold a, you know, title to a certain way and they just treat you like a number. But everybody is a human being. I don't care who you are, what job title you have. You just got to treat people with respect. And I'm just glad that, you know, that that's recognized in my job. And then I went to another patient room and I don't know how we got on that subject. We were just talking about kids and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, she was asking me if I was going to have any more kids. I was like... <laughs> I want more, but you know, if I don't have a husband or nothing like that, then I don't plan on having no kids anytime soon. She was just like, you're just such a positive person and you're a great catch and anybody be lucky to have you and you should get on dating sites. And I've only been working with her probably about two or three days. So, you know, for her to recognize that just by me coming in her room and doing my regular job, I'm just like, wow. Then then um another patient like he cried and we both end up crying doing prayer and everything so i'm just like wow i don't know if god's trying to tell me something or what but just the moral of the story is y'all don't take y'all health for granted if you got your health and your strength and i know holidays coming up christmas and all that kind of stuff and you feel like you know maybe you're not working or you know you can't really afford stuff don't break yourself to do for these kids because half of these kids are ungrateful and don't deserve half of the stuff that you do for them or even if they are deserving you got a roof over their head you paying for food 
and car notes and insurance and all this stuff like the necessities to live then christmas is not about gifts it's about being grateful for life and you got to instill that in your kids and let them know that it's not about gifts. Yes, gifts is nice, but that's not what Christmas is all about. And I'm just glad that my daughter don't think in that way. She don't be asking for all this expensive stuff. And I let her see, you know, bills that I have to pay and how much I have in my bank account. I'm like, okay, once I pay this and this, this is how much I got left. So you got to show your kids because they be thinking you rich and maybe y'all might be, but I'm not. So you just got to let them know stuff costing is where I can't just get every single thing that you want. I get what you need and, uh, you know, a little bit of what you want, but you can't get everything that you want. But anyways, y'all, I finally, well, not finally, but I got my first um car troubles it's saying assist something child i don't know the it's not coming on the dashboard right now so i gotta go to the dealership early in the morning they open at seven it's 7 30 now so i'm about to um go catch them while it's early thank god for warranty so i should be able to get my car fixed and then i'm gonna have to go to walmart probably so yeah i'm gonna holler at y'all in a minute let me get out this dang on garage this car like 50 something thousand i think like 51 thousand and then it got the roof i think it's like a double sunroof but it's like a screen on top look at all this room back here this bad boy is nice. All right, y'all. The car is fixed. Basically, it was like a light bulb in the back. And I was like, well, why did it say that assist um, something, something, assist something? He said that normally happens when um, when uh, the car is on uh, cruise control or something. Like the car in front of you, like if they was going slower than what you was then it would like adjust or something he was like it was just really weird because he they didn't they couldn't figure out why it was saying that but they was like come to find out it was just like a light bulb so i ain't have to pay nothing so thank god it wasn't that major so i'm about to go while my real quick get a few things and head on home the next day hey my beauties um we're getting ready to go to Walmart well meet my dad at Walmart and get her a bike she's getting a bike for Christmas I mean she, she's 13 so what's the surprise I mean well I still have her some gifts and stuff wrapped up but hey and we're gonna need to make sure she can fit the bike and all that so we're just gonna go to Walmart we ain't talking about 500 pounds we're talking about the the height of the bike we ain't talking about weight here she go mm. <laughs> but anyways, y'all, guess what I found, y'all? <laughs> it was in my um my old car. Well, we're in my old car right now because you see that little back seat right there? It got like some little things. I'm able to pull it down, and I don't think I can do that in my new car. So I'm going to drive this car to get the bike or whatever. But it was just like in the sides, like in the little grooves part on the passenger side. And I know I looked, and I thought she looked. I looked. I'm like, how is this just randomly off found my wallet? So, I mean, I already canceled my credit cards and stuff, but thank God. Can you? I mean, is the gum good? <laughs> sorry. Ah, sorry, y'all. <laughs> but I'm just glad I don't have to go to the DMV because, honey, they was talking about doing appointments online and all this stuff, and I just wasn't up to it. But anyways, I'm about to go meet my dad at his house in his Walmart and see what we can find. They only got baby bikes. What you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> they only got baby bikes to live. They got little bitty bikes. Except they got this one big one. But it's a boy bike and she don't want that. So, well, come on, come on. Come on, Lil. You gonna try that one? What? Oh, that's so oh cute. God. Look how little this is. <laughs>
kind of stuff. Oh my god. Oh, they got a pizza place. Oh lord. Oh my god. Oh, they got a face mask for the dogs. So you want doll stuff for Christmas? Oh my god. Huh? This is better than American dog. I don't know. You didn't. I spent my hundred and some dollars last no, year on I, your I, doll. No, I'm just saying. Well, I could have got this instead of getting that hundred dollar doll. Oh, look at this little um. What is that? Like a little mermaid cover? Oh, they got like a little skirt, little outfits. Oh, they got the horse. Yeah, I'm um, glad that my child still a kid at heart. And then you still be like, girl, you grow up. <laughs> what do you want me to do, woman? Y'all, we still looking for bikes. They only had, um, <laughs> we still looking for bikes. Oh, I got makeup because that's when I had my thing zipped up like this. But they only had boy style bikes. So, girl, we're going to go to this other Walmart. Because they had like a rose gold color. But we're trying to let the traffic die down. Got if all there. fails, we're just going to have to get the boy bikes because you ain't going to find no colors looking like. Come oh, they're very expensive. $300, $400 for a bike is crazy. They got a little hole. One hour later. So we're here looking at Christmas lights. Oh my God, that's so gorgeous. your kids stay in school get to it get to the money look at all these clothes i don't know which house they in oh look at, Ooh, look at this one numbers. look at these lights over here yeah, nice oh you mean that oh yeah wow wow that's crazy so y'all i gotta give my dad always give me my Christmas gifts early. I got some candles in here. And this one smells so good, y'all. This one, um, what is it? Moonlight petals or something. But it smells so good. And it's really expensive too. It's like $50. So, honey, I can't wait. What you doing? I can't wait to you got to get your Like this candle. So yeah, I love it. All my friends and family, they already know I love me a good body spray and I love me a good candle. All right, y'all, today was a fail. No bike. All we saw was boy bikes, so we're gonna call it a night and just try to try this another day or try to look online for some bikes, maybe go that route, but I don't think it's gonna be delivered by Christmas, but. It is what it is because we just went to another Walmart. So I'm done for the night. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And remember, you, you are, are beautiful. beautiful. Bye. Bye.